Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. Um, I've been asked by a customer if I can repair these electronic ignition units from a vintage motorbike. Now I find that there's a transistor fault, it's this one here. Um, it's a 2SD1071 um, made by uh, Fuji of Japan. Now I haven't got one of these in stock, none of my suppliers have got one in stock. And um, I looked through one or two people who do uh, vintage surplus from years back and they haven't got them in stock. So I have to break the golden rule and sometimes you've just got to take a chance. You've got to take a gamble and see what you get. So I look on the internet. I find actually on the internet that there's hundreds of people selling these which seems a bit odd. Um, and like I say, sometimes you've just got to take a gamble. If it's not a lot of money, just do it. So uh, the transistors have arrived. Let's just have a look what we've actually got. Right, so this is what's arrived, and uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but if we look at that, the printing on them, oh, you can see it now, it's in focus, the, uh, the laser printing is absolutely perfect, even under a magnifying glass, um, that is perfect printing, and um, the surface of them, uh, because we've got the ident mark and we've got a letter in it, the surface of these definitely has not been sanded down. So these aren't some other transistors um, that are uh, just made to look like a, a D1071. Uh, but what starts the alarm bells ringing is, if you look at these, they're absolutely, they look brand new, just like they've come out of the factory. Uh, now that's a bit strange, because this transistor, um, it's for a 30 year old piece of equipment. So let's just test one and see what we've got. Uh, in fact, first, that's the data sheet. I don't know what it says because it's all in Japanese. Um, but I can see that what I should be looking at is a power Darlington transistor with internal um, base bias resistors. So let's just put one of these on a tester and see what we've got. Right, so I've got one here set up to the peak tester. Uh, let's just get the light out of the camera, press the button. So that's what we've got, um, just a bog standard uh, NPN transistor. Um, we don't have an internally biased uh, Darlington transistor at all. Um, I'll just try another one, but I'm sure these will all be the same. So that's got a um, gain of 158. Right, so here's another one set up. Once again, just an ordinary MPN transistor with a gain of 159. Uh, now, bearing in mind, we're actually looking for a Darlington. Um, that's, um, that's a total fake transistor. It's what I expected, but like I say, sometimes you just do have to take a gamble when you can't get something somewhere else. So, why is it that these look absolutely brand new they look like they've just come out of the factory they've not been sanded down well let me show you i'll just uh, stop the camera and i'll show you now after these transistors have been manufactured they're all individually tested and any don't any that don't come up to the exact specification laid down by the manufacturer going to the reject bin um, but what the manufacturers do is they don't mark any numbers on them because they don't want them appearing back on the market as seconds. Um, so um, a lot of these will be sold off for scrap metal, but there's no. Um, it's not difficult to guess where they actually end up. So let's take a look at my fake 2SD 1071 transistors would have started live. Let's just tip these out. And uh, if you look at these, they're all brand new, but they don't. They just have a blank face. There's no numbers printed on them at all. Um, so uh, these can be any. These can be made into any transistor you want. And uh, in case you're wondering, it's not just um, TO220 transistors that are faked. It, it can be any transistor. So we've got these. Uh, if you take a look at that, there's no number on the top. Uh, that can be made into a, a 2N3055 if that's what you want to buy. Uh, once again, more transistors with no numbers on. They can be made into a Toshiba high-end audio transistors. 
Um, these can be made into uh, thigh wristers if that's what you want. The possibilities are absolutely endless. Uh, but like I say, sometimes you just do have to take a chance. Um, they could have been, um, it could have been a very slim chance that somebody had some old stock 2SD 1071 transistors. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I bought a fake. So uh, I'm still on the lookout for some genuine ones, which is proving rather hard to find at the moment. All right, guys and girls, many thanks for watching my video. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.